on YouTube. Turn it like here. One more time. Check it out. Don't worry about the tape. I put it on because I lost the screws to this. But I gotta change this anyway. I gotta change it from right here. Right here. I gotta take that off. Unzip tie and all that stuff. I gotta change this one. But see, look. You hear it? It's leaking up under this tape. Up under the, gla the uh, gangster handle, they call it. I put the tape on it, like I said. I took it off before, but I lost my screws. And I ain't wanna, you know, I ain't got around to put no more screws on it. Tape it up and ride out, baby. But anyway, that ain't what I'm, that ain't what I'm going for. What I'm going for is up here. Sometimes, when your glad hand is leaking right here, but that rubber garment is messed up on the inside, you can take it off. And you can put some grease on there and put it back on there to seal it. But I got a little bit of grease on there, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Now you might ask yourself, where can I get some grease from? Well, you got a trailer, like right here. There's some grease right there on the bottom of the trailer. There's grease right here. So I'm gonna take this off. Seals air. This is a new glad hand, new um, uh, the new um emergency line right here. Yeah, I grabbed it from a truck stop. And uh, what other part at? Bomb right here. And then the wall connect down here. And here's the glad hand arm. I'm gonna put it on here. Then I'm gonna connect this side to right here. Put a rubber garment at, put grease all around there. Take this with your hand over like a little spatula. Put it all around there. Put it on there, it seals air. So if you got if you got an air leak from right here, where the air there, where the air there connects, grease will do the job. Now you can see this little red stuff on here. It's already thread tape on there, but that's generic to me. So I'm putting I'm putting my own thread tape on there before I put it on, guys. On that now, I'm gonna put the uh, the glad hand on this side right here. So when I take the other one off, I really gotta do is throw the other one back on. I ain't got to put the glad hand on there or nothing. So here we go. Right here. I YouTube seen earlier today when I first showed the video I already, I already put that on there. Just the new holes right here with the uh, wires. Right here everything is uh pretty much separated. See? So now I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the big wrench on the bottom in here. And I'm gonna turn that top right here just to get it off. Alright guys.
Now I got kind of loose, so now I could just twist it off with my hand. But as you can see, when you twist it, it's going to turn because it's connected to this right here. The old one, new one. As you can see, see I took it off. All right, now look. You look in there. It's the valve right here. Make sure you want to clean that off before you um look crumbs in there. But you want to kind of blow. Time to make sure you clean it off before you put some put the other one on that. But anyway, I ain't got much time. The sun is gonna go down in a minute, guys. End of the work day. So you gotta get it done, guys. So let me uh, throw this in real quick, guys. All right, stay tuned. Pretty much butter, baby. Here's the tools I use right here, though. Check it out. I use this right here for the um for the check valve right there. For this check valve right here, this is called check valve. Now yours maybe your truck may be different. Your valves may be down here, it be up top, it may be somewhere else. But if it it got one of these on there, and it got one of these on there, and it got these on there, definitely. So just look for it. And like I say, it ain't hard to do, man. Just thread tape, line, wrenches. Here's the wrenches I used. I used two Crescent wrenches. I think this is the name of Crescent, Crescent wrenches. I think these are called Crescent wrenches. Okay, it's a 12 inch. So I don't know if that's a 12 inch this way or if it's 12 inch. It can't be 12 inch this way. Anyway, this one opens wider than this one. You know what I'm saying? For all you mechanics out there, you know what I'm talking about. I don't, you, you, you can hear me talk. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on around here. I'm trying to let them make it happen, baby. That's all I could do. But anyway, see, look, this open wide. Wide enough to fit on that, that check valve over there. This one don't. It'll open that wide. See, look, let me show you. See? See the see the difference? It don't open that wide. You see it? So I use this one for the red holes. I use this one for the check valve. Old one right here. I'm going to keep that old one, guys. Still work, even though it's, you know, it's leaking air from the handle, from the gangster handle, as they call it. I rather have something that gets me going through that than nothing at all. You know what I'm talking about? In case I snap that holes. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's a way to repair that hole to the old one. You could cut it, you could untake the nuts off, cut it, and re put it back in together. But I don't feel like doing all that, man. It'll save me time. To do this right here, it'll take you about 15, 20 minutes, man. Not even that long. Depends what you're doing, guys. But anyway, how right, you too? We got it hooked up. Ain't no air leaking right here. That means this is good. Ain't no air leaking right there. So, it's good to go, man. I got my emergency line pressed in. See, watch this. Let me show you. Check it out. I'm gonna have to get some more gangster handles because I don't like the way that look, man, but that feel. So, because I know I'm, if I keep pulling on this, I'm going to mess this up again right here. So the other one's messed up at right here, going into this look. I'm going into this fitting right here, this one's messed up. But as you can see, guys, for right now, though, this is good. That's good. No leaks. All right, YouTube. Hope this video is helpful, guys. I'm tired. End of working day. You got to do stuff like this, guys. You got to do stuff like this. Save you a couple dollars. And also, too, that's an emergency line. If that has snapped, I would have had more than problems, guys. So anyway. 
All right, YouTube. See you guys in the next video. Comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell, too. Make sure you get, the notif get notified when I upload some videos around chill. You know what I'm talking about? Banny ho. All right, guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.